Uh, so Fox News wanted to do a segment on furries because that thing happened that I mentioned uh, either last Friday or last Tuesday about uh, Ron DeSantis applying a drag queen ban that um, a furry convention then applied to minors at itself just for like legal purposes for the, the sake of protecting themselves as much as possible. Uh, they weren't directly ordered by Ron DeSantis to not allow ch children, but their lawyers advised them to make it an 18 plus event. So Fox News wanted to do a story on this and they reached out to a popular furry within the furry community and said, hello, would you like to do an interview on Fox News Ulu? And this is of course translated into furry so that they could understand them. Um, this person then put out a poll the Thai Slade says, I've been asked to do a five minute live interview in fursuit with a maid shirt. Make sure you wear that fucking suit. That's the, that's the advertising dollar right there, boy. Uh, with Jesse Waters on Fox addressing the recent bill, 1438 by Ron, very close, by Ron DeSantis and the new policy decision by Megaplex to exclude minors from attending this year. Should I do it or should I decline? Please comment. A uh, hundred people voted, of which two thirds of them uh, uh, voted not to do this interview because this is obviously a terrible idea. Uh, there is no way that he would not just be reduced to a, a laughing stock on live national television. But he's a furry, and if furries love anything more than internet memes and pornography, it is attention. So. Uh, with the promise of being on television, he dons his first suit and shows up. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Shows up on television. Furries? They're a group of people who dress up in costume and pretend to be animals. They like to go to conventions, kind of like a Comic-Con, except everyone's dressed up like the Philly fanatic. I guess this is just good, clean fun. Different strokes for different folks and all, but... There's also a sexual undercurrent at the events. Some of it gets like, you know, well, watch out for the guy with the paddle. I want to get soft by the stool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now, thanks to DeSantis's new law, kids are not allowed to go to an upcoming furry convention in Florida. Okay. Meet. The furry. We now turn it over to a real life furry, David Kanaska, to respond. <laughs> All right, David. <laughs> Just the audacity to put this on television is great. How old are you? Uh, I'm 32. And what are you supposed to be dressed up as here? Well, currently, I'm a raccoon. And why are you dressed up as a raccoon? Well, isn't it fun? He should have just said, you asked me to. <laughs> I thought he was a fox, so I I named all these videos Fox on Fox, because I thought that was clever. Uh, now that I know that he's just a raccoon, he doesn't look like a raccoon. It looks like they probably have, like, the same animal base for all their suits, and they just dress it up differently, because that looks way more like a fox costume than a raccoon. He didn't, he didn't spring for the, the expensive model. That's the... Not, uh, they do use the basin. Yeah, I'm right. I know I'm right. Look at that. That's a fox. Look at those ears. Those are like fo fox ears. That's not like a raccoon ear at all. Well, I mean, you're also great at spankings. Did you see the video we just played? What's going on with the spankings I at did, the furry conventions? Well, there's a, there's a popular restaurant called the Habra House. Uh, and this is a, a, a restaurant that is pretty close to one of the uh, uh, conventions that we we uh, we set up every year, and the, at the Habra House, it's uh, it's customary in Germanic tradition to uh, I guess slap the asses of all of the patrons. <laughs> okay. I don't know why. I didn't know the Germans the were thing. into that kind of kink, but there's a lot I don't know. So why do you want kids around people dressed up as squirrels getting spanked? Okay. Uh, me personally, I don't. I I think that it's uh it, it's a definitely an adult only environment for that. Uh, 
The furry conventions themselves don't have anything to do with that, though. I would like to take a second to show you this map of furries in Western Europe or in Europe as a whole. You may notice that in the the West German, this is very specifically West Germany too. In West Germany, there appears to be a congregation of dots indicating furries. Um, and in East Germany, there is there is fewer. I won't say none. There's fewer. Uh, you may also know note that the Czech Republic, also known now called Czechia, has managed to avoid the infiltration. Even though the Sudetenland is surrounded by the foe, the uh, Czech Republic has made a valiant last stand and is repelling the enemy forces uh, to the last man. The dog people shall be kept at bay. Uh, Slovakia, however, they are furry collaborationists. Under uh, under Tizo in his in his. Uh, in his bot costume, uh, they have collaborated directly with the furry Germans and uh, are now an enemy to the Czechia state. I, uh... <laughs> Croatia based. I mean, look at Serbia. There's like one guy in Ser in Belgrade that hasn't gotten his ass kicked yet. There's a couple in Romania. The the UK there's also a very fine like Adrian's Wall or Hadrian's Wall between Scotland and the UK. I don't know, maybe Scots aren't that bad, but Edinburgh is gone, North Ireland is gone. Even that's also funny. That Northern Ireland has a bunch of furries, but the um but Ireland proper has fewer except in Dublin, which is a shithole. Uh also, this also proves that the the Dutch are definitely German, and so are the Austrians. Austria and the Dutch can just go back into the Holy Roman Empire, the Holy Fur Furry Empire. But Belgium and Luxembourg are going to the French. Uh, this also proves that Alsace-Lorraine is rightful French territory. They are not nearly as furry as the Germans right across the border. So the French can keep Alsace-Lorraine. Uh... Yeah, this is this is actually probably the most effective way to divide Europe. Uh, Czech Republic, not German. Netherlands, German. Austria, German. Alsace, Lorraine, French. Belgium, French. Uh, just divide it along these lines, and we've got this figured out. However, <laughs> maybe um, Corsica and um, and uh, the other one. Oh, Sardinia, Corsica and Sardinia, they can be independent from Italy. They, they have managed to keep the infection at bay. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, uh, let's continue with the, the, the furry on Fox. Okay, do you blame yourself at all for being misunderstood? I mean, you're the one dressed up as a raccoon. Oh, absolutely. I think that this is absolutely crazy and weird and fun. Uh, and, and that's the point. I think, you know, it's supposed All to right. gain attention. I like being on stage. I like performing as a character. I like bringing well, joy to people. Okay. That's why well, I, if I, I came to you one know, of your conventions, of of David, or maybe we sent Johnny to the convention. What should we dress up as? Fox. Uh, you can dress up however Fox. you want. We've had Jack Fox. Sparrow. Fox, it's right there. Fox. Sparrows show up. We've had... Uh, all kinds of different animals. What kind of animal do you think you would be? Probably a dinosaur. David? A dinosaur. <laughs> I like that. He's a scaly. I gotta run. Call him a scaly. <laughs> Good luck. And uh, don't sweat too much. Thank you for much. having me on. Thank you very much. Jesse Waters about to get spanked in a scaly costume. His cameraman's going to be dressed up in a fox recording it. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the furries were not at all, at all amused by this, by the way. Um, do I not have... Oh, no. That, sorry. Jump scare. That's something that's coming up. Where the fuck is my reaction to this? I downloaded, like, eight different images of furry reactions to, uh, to uh, this content. And um don't have it. Okay, I'll just read it from the other screen because I still have it up. 
uh, Vitaly Slade actually replied to people criticizing him for doing this interview, saying, There were many factors that played into my decision. One, I have experience with two different newspapers and an NPR broadcast. Two, I had been in the furry fandom for over 15 years, so I've been around the block a few times. And three, I am in the top 10% of the country in regards to IQ. So you see this man right here in this costume. This is definitely not a fox repurposed to a raccoon costume. Um, this man is, is a genius. He's got an IQ of like top 10% of the U.S. That's probably about a 96. I mean, he's up there, man. He's up there. He knows how to handle himself. Don't doubt him. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> um so a furry criticizes him and says studies have shown that iq scores are meaningless this guy probably puts his iq on a resume just so we know he's full of shit an interview on fox news about furries and desantis is bad enough without finding out that they're dumb they're a dumb crypto shill and an anti-vaccine covid denier I have to take it all back. My boy, 100% coon. He's got those coon genetics. He knows how to take his little paws and grab all the crypto shekels. And he knows that he's a pure blood. Say no to the vaccine, says the raccoon. <laughs> Secretly trying to make me like this guy. Notorious Yote says, you should be ashamed of yourself. Vitaly Slade replies saying, what should I be ashamed of? Pray tell. Uh, Yote replies saying, for putting people going to Megaplex in danger by going on a news site that is against LGBT individuals and giving us a bigger target on our back. Don't trust the dinosaur and the fox. That's all you got to say. Keep them away from the, the secret sex dungeon that you bring the kids to. Soba the Shiva says uh, that Jesse Waters segment implied that furries were grooming children. Furries fall under the umbrella as queer, according to conservatives, and are going to have to deal with the same rhetoric. We are so close to being a culture war issue. Why did you agree to the to the interview? That is true. He, I mean, they would have found somebody else probably. Because um, how hard is it to find an attention whore in a, in a costume willing to talk on Fox News? Uh, furries would be great for the, the culture war. I, I fully support expanding the acronym to the LGBTFIAP+, um, because they're very easy targets. Uh, Carrie Calendras says, I'm literally embarrassed to have ever known you. Holy shit, dude. Learn how not to feed into a rhetoric and flip the questions around before ever doing an interview again. Better yet, don't accept any interviews from Fox News. You gave them every single soundbite they could want. Um, by the way, Carrie Calendris is the has a, a kind of display picture. There's a name for this when they're like they're like bright neon. They look like radioactive and shit. I don't know what you call that. There's like a special word for it though, like a glow furry or some shit. Let me know in the chat. I'm kind of curious. Sparkle Dog. That's it. That's it, rabid copy. That's very rabid. Knows about furry shit. Mm, suspicious. Libby Dodo for... Uh, I'm not reading Super Chats. It said 18 after. It says like the, it has like the no, ch ch uh, no minors icon, like the 18 crossed out. And I saw Libby, Libby Dodo in the number 18. And I thought that was like a donation amount. So my brain was hardwired to read it as a donation. I had to stop myself. Um, I genuinely don't know what you're... I genuinely don't know why you're so far up your own arse that the furry fetish community wouldn't draw porn of it or you're just so blatantly unaware of the damage you've caused for your own ego. You're the new Reddit anti-work mod of this year, and I hope your life peaks here. And Charan finally, it says, uh, finally, you are exiled from the fandom. We don't want you or your partner here any longer. You are to be shunned, and I do hope you face consequences on your actions. I curse you to endure tenfold what you've done in ignorance, only to have peace when you've learned. So, uh, unfortunately for our boy, the coon, he has been sentenced 
in Roman Ferry Court to relegatio, and he is no longer invited to partake in the spankings and child candy events um, at the the Megacon, Me Me Maxi Mexicon. Very sad. And yeah, Kursie Ha Meha too, to really top it all off. This guy's life is fucked up now. Sad, but true. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.